is here. Aight, this is my shit right here. here. This shit is crazy. crazy. The, the is evil here. genius. <laughs> Uh, I heard some of the shit that Kanye West, you know, be spewing out of his mouth. Uh, I know for sure. What you talking about? That Kanye West is gone and been gone. What you talking about? You understand what I'm saying? That nigga ain't been in his right mind in damn near 10 years. Okay? Every once in a while, when his true consciousness tries to surface and tell you some real shit, you want to take him as a joke. And so, we live in a world where people, where people will sit here and watch the motherfucking elites and the Illuminati, whatever spooky word you want to use, commit MK Ultra on a motherfucker. A celebrity at that. And nobody will come to your aid. And then when you try to say some real shit, they want to further laugh in your motherfucking face. This is the status of ignorance and foolishness that the people who are in danger have subscribed to. We see that that nigga right there, you understand what I'm saying, mentally. What you talking about? Is on a trip. What you talking about? I don't know if that nigga on LSD. What you talking about? But that nigga's on a psych, some type of psych, psych trip. You understand what I'm saying? And he's very dangerous. Not only to himself, but to a whole lot of other people. What you talking about? I understand what Kanye was trying to say. Now, let me throw this disclaimer out there, okay? From my personal opinion, and the rest of the world's personal opinion... We, we understand that that's not the same psychological Kanye we're dealing with. Whether he's in the second place, whether they did whatever they did to that man. The entire world watched Kanye West try to enlighten them on the wickedness that's going on behind the scenes. And y'all all took it as a joke. This nigga actually believe the shit that he's saying is real. This nigga dangerous. You understand what I'm saying? Nah. This right here is my response video saying that slaves had a choice in slavery. Now, with that being said, I agree. The nigga said something about slavery. And that somehow we chose to be enslaved. I agree. Now, watch this video from front to back. Before you get to bitching in the comments. This nigga. Is not cheerleading. I agree. This is not by no coincidence. I'm going to tell you. You understand what I'm saying? They got a chip in that nigga. I'm just going to be 100. They got a chip in that nigga Kanye. When that nigga Kanye said whatever he said. About George Bush. What you talking about? They chipped that nigga. Okay, and they got a switch on that nigga where they can turn that nigga on and off like one of them goddamn drones. You fly out there in the goddamn air. You understand what I'm saying? That nigga is now a remote control drone. What you talking about? Yo, stupid ass. Now, let me tell y'all why I agree with Kanye West. Okay? This is why I agree with Kanye West. You always have a choice. Huh? See, y'all niggas be so quick to be talking about, well, God gave everybody free will. Another man can take your free will? Let me tell you something. If I come in your motherfucking house and I tell you to pick some cotton before I beat your ass and hang you, if I rape your woman in front of you and you don't intervene, how you didn't have a choice? People's as crazy as hell to believe some... If what you talking he about? has said some shit like that about the Jewish Holocaust, what you talking about? they abandon his ass. See, that's the difference. And you got Negroes. See, and I, even before I got, I came on, 
I seen niggas in there talking about Kanye is right. What you talking about? You did have a choice. You chose fear. Say that. Just say you was a pussy. Say that. Just say you was a pussy. But don't sit here and act like you didn't have no motherfucking choice, nigga. Well, let me tell you what most definitely is right. What you talking about? Say that shit about the Jewish Holocaust. You never, ever, ever. What you talking about? Ever. Do you ever hear another Jew tell another Jew that the Holocaust didn't happen? Just say you was a pussy. Say that. Just say you was a pussy. But don't sit here and act like you didn't have no motherfucking choice, nigga. And that by somehow, even if it's true, okay, you don't hear them come out in the open like that against, against their own, they own people. You don't hear them do no shit like that. Just say you was a pussy. Say that. Just say you was a pussy. But don't sit here and act like you didn't have no motherfucking choice, nigga. To say some silly shit like that. You understand what I'm saying? Thinking of all the horrors what you talking that about? went on and we know happened. What Kanye you talking about? is a traitor. He is. Whether he's mentally ill or not, you can have your opinion about certain shit, but you know, sometimes your opinion can get you fucked up. What you talking about? I agree. Now, watch this video from front to back. Before you get to bitching in the comments. You know, sometimes your opinion can get you fucked up. A lot of you immature motherfuckers want to take the aspect of... Because I'm going to repeat what Kanye said right now before I go on. But a lot of y'all want to take what he said and apply it to... where well, they couldn't have did this because they was going to get beat and hung and brutalized. No, that was the consequence of a potential... That was a potential consequence of their cost of freedom. I'm just going to be 100 with y'all. It ain't that, you know, it's our choice. What is our choice is to bring this shit to an end. That's our choice. And our people out here, you know, we doing all this other shit that's not going to, you know, bring about no results of substance. I'm about to turn up. Did y'all know that black people fought their way out of slavery? You never heard of the Gullah Wars, you fucking idiots? Go look up the Gullah Wars. When the Africans and the Indians clicked up and created an army and was killing all motherfucking white slave uh, plantation masters. And they was killing motherfuckers so much that Abraham Lincoln and them niggas said, if we, we have to let these black people go because if we don't, they people going to come for them to rescue them. Huh? Go look it up. Gullah Wars. G-U-L-L-A-H. Go look it up. Black people free they self. And so why is this important? For all of the niggas out there saying we ain't have no choice, how the fuck we get free then, bitch? Don't think that any and everything that can come out your motherfucking mouth, you don't pay for. You understand what I'm saying? Certain shit is above and beyond, okay? Just like you say something, you know, you might say something about a man. We fought. And so when Kanye West said for 400 years... People were still slaves picking cotton. That sounded like a choice to me. I understood what he was trying to say. Huh? Same way over here right now, you motherfuckers, it's, the police can jump out and crack you in your motherfucking head and all of your goofy ass friends will sit there and watch and they going to do shit but pull their phones out. You know, Kanye ain't nothing but an agent for Trump. You know damn well if he, it, you know, when you watch the, you know, the breadcrumbs and where it lead to, you understand, one day you root for Trump talking about make America great again. This bitch ain't never been great. Ain't gonna never be great. What you gonna say? You didn't have a choice? Go to constitution.org. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put the link in the description of this video. The constitution says that you can physically defend yourself from a motherfucking unlawful arrest. The constitution says an un uh, unlawful arrest is should be, uh, what you gonna call it? Treat it to the equivalent of assault and battery. Huh? And so even the Constitution gives you a choice. You just a pussy. But, you know, sometimes your opinion can get you fucked up. What you talking about? So this nigga just as sick as they is to come and say some shit like that. But, hey. And so this don't mean, you know, I'm not making this video telling people to go out there and be fighting police. So I don't want anybody 
saying I'm saying that. But the point I'm trying to make is, when it comes to standing up for what's righteous, you always have a choice. Motherfucker. Samurais will kill their motherfucking self before they let you kill them and dishonor them. So where's so where's your level of integrity at? Just because you don't have the level of integrity of a samurai don't mean that, that, that you get the excuse to say you didn't have a choice, bitch. You know, sometimes your opinion can get you fucked up. What you talking about? Kanye ain't nothing to, you know, he's no judge of nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Because mentally, that nigga been off his rocker for many years now. But he is an agent. And so I want to see what the rest of them Negroes going to say. I want to. What you talking about? Huh? You always got a choice. And so, motherfucking, if they come down your. This is before I even go in. I'm just laying my framework. If they come down your street right now with military uh, soldiers and they tell you to get your ass in because you're going in a FEMA camp. What you gonna do, nigga? You gonna get your ass in that FEMA camp or you gonna fight? He He's married to the, uh, you know, to the oppressor. He with the oppressor's daughter. You understand? Conceiving these mixed breeds. And I, I know this is gonna be a hard video. Because if you get your ass in that goddamn military truck and, and go on one of them FEMA camps, don't be talking about we didn't have no choice. You did have a choice. You were just a pussy. These niggas is not gonna help you. And so... You got to be thinking into the future. You are your own leader. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to make the decision for yourself. And if you don't, they're going to walk all you young African peoples into the goddamn gas chambers, just like they did them damn Jews. If they could do their own people like that, you know what they're going to do to your ass. When Kanye West said that, you know, black people were, were slaves for 400 years, that sounded like a choice to him, okay? What Kanye West was saying... Basically, long story short was, why didn't nobody rebel on a majority level? See? This your last little stronghold, motherfucker. We is going to take it to these motherfuckers. That's really the reality. And so the only way they got any inkling that they could win is to keep us confused like we is. So keep these motherfuckers out the ears of your children. The revolutionary young Africans out here, man, get ready to take this shit over. Y'all the kings and queens of this of this generation. You know, something bad is going to happen to me. Do you know why something bad is going to happen to you? Because the rest of your fucking people are still asleep. And so when we say uh, you didn't have a choice but to be a slave, let's be specific. The slaves who didn't know they were slaves caused the slaves who knew they were slaves to ignore they motherfucking to sometimes, not always, but sometimes ignore they escape route to freedom because it might not have been the intellectually most positive decision to make at the time. For example, if you have to work, right? But we know that this is a matrix and money is fake. But the rest of these niggas love throwing money in strip clubs and worshiping money. Then it would be unwise for you to quit your job. Okay? That don't mean that you don't know that money is being used to enslave people's consciousness. And to bring everybody on a third dimensional, fictional level of artificial reality. But you have no choice because you have a greater good to, to commit to, which is to take care of your family. But when the majority of the motherfucking whole, such as today, in this age, when internet is available to every motherfucking body, knows that the goddamn uh, motherfucking world is full of shit and the truth is right here, you have a choice. Everybody got a choice to wake up. So if the world don't wake up today, what you gonna say? Bitch, the internet is free. You watching this video right now on YouTube. Bitch, click off it. Oh, this video and go do some research. And so now let's take this same situation to slavery, right? Do you know how many motherfucking slaves revolt there were that they, that people don't talk about? Do you know how many how many Indian revolt how many Indians help fight uh and free motherfucking slaves from slave plantations? Once again, I will reiterate, the Gullah Wars, black people fought their way out of slavery. And so they don't teach you this history because they don't want you to not only know that you did have a choice, that you chose to be free. And so they want to teach you that they beat your ass and you was a yes massa, yes Uncle Tom ass nigga. And one day they said, you know what, what we're doing is wrong. And we're going to, you know what, our good white hearts free these niggas. No. You heard what Paul Mooney said. Paul Mooney said he read the great white book and niggas getting away wasn't a part of the plan. I, I got the great white book. I read it too. And Paul Mooney was writing exact. And so niggas fought their way out of there. 
And so what's happening is a lot of y'all is listening to what Kanye West said and y'all don't even know history. And so y'all getting so upset at what he said because your level of perspective is this big. And so on a technicality, right, technically speaking, Kanye West is right. You always have a choice. If some motherfuckers come up your, if the Ku Klux Klan come down your street right now and say, pick this cotton nigger for we hang your bitch ass. You have two choices. Fight to the death and get hung. Or pick the cotton. Don't pick the cotton and use fear as an excuse of not having a choice. Bitch, you had a choice. Let's talk about how many slave ships got overridden and overtaken and motherfucking never even made it over here because they they chose wisely. They chose to fight to the death, motherfucker. See, let me let me tell you how let me tell y'all how hypocritical y'all dumbasses is. Y'all was just all over the internet when when Killmonger and Black Panther said, "Bury me in the sea." With my ancestors who chose to die instead of because they knew that death was better than slavery or whatever the fuck he said. What, what, that Killmonger quote, right? Think of that Killmonger quote, whatever he said. Oh, so now y'all was all just black power rowdy rowdy all over the internet. Black Twitter was going crazy when Killmonger said that. Your ancestors had a choice, didn't I? They chose to fight to the death. But as soon as Kanye West just said they had a choice... Now, you same motherfuckers is talking about Kanye, they didn't have no choice. So which one is it, bitch?